Our first step is to draw the cow's nose by making an oval near the bottom center of the page. Add a curved line under the nose for the mouth. Now we're going to draw an upside down U for the head. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes. Draw light until it's right. That way, if you need to erase something, you won't have those lines all over your paper. Oops, we forgot our nostrils. Go ahead and do two little half circles. Now we want to add two curved lines, one on both sides of our head. Okay, now it's time for our eyes. I personally always have a really hard time making things even. So one little tip would be to draw a very light, straight line across your cow's face to try to help even up your eye placement. Now we're going to add some hair on top of the head with a curved zigzag line. And add some ears. Now I ran out of room, but if you wanted to give your cow some horns, now would be a great time to do so. Now we're going to draw a slightly curved line for the back of the cow and the chest. Okay, and now it's time to work on our background. I kept mine fairly simple for the sake of this video. I just did some hills and a blue sky, but I really encourage you guys to get creative. Okay, and now it's time to outline. If you're using paint, I would suggest using an oil pastel or a black crayon. I felt like my cow needed something, so I decided to add some spots, but that is totally optional. Now while we're painting or coloring, I'm going to go ahead and tell you a little bit about the artist that inspired our project this week. Paulus Potter was a Dutch artist who was a part of the Baroque art movement. 
The Baroque is a period of artistic style that started around the 1600s in Rome, Italy, and spread throughout the majority of Europe. Basically, the word Baroque describes something that is very elaborate and highly detailed. Paulus Potter's most popular paintings during the Baroque movement are of farm scenes with animals such as cows, horses, and pigs. Unfortunately, Potter died from tuberculosis when he was 28, but he produced about 100 paintings in his short life. One of his more famous paintings is called The Young Bull, which was painted in 1647. I'll go ahead and link it in the description box below so you guys can check it out. Okay, now it's time to go ahead and add texture to our cow. Remember, Baroque means highly detailed, so we wanna make sure it looks like our cow has that soft fur. Now I totally forgot to add some texture in those spots that I left white, but if you would like to do that, I think that's a great idea. inspired by Baroque artist Paulus Potter.